What's up guys, it's Jun from Illustrator How. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the AI tools in Illustrator, the text to vector graphics. Mm, honestly, it's not my favorite tool to use and I don't feel like it's working so well. But anyways, I'm going to show you how it works and uh, yeah, definitely in some cases it's going to work perfectly. All right, without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay guys, so let me show you how to use the text to vector graphics feature in Illustrator. So it's pretty easier and straightforward to understand. All you need to do is to type in your prompt and Illustrator is going to generate an image or image background or icons for you. Um, you can open the text to vector graphic panel from the overhead menu window, text to vector graphic beta. Or if you don't want to open a panel, you can also find an option under the properties panel, text to vector graphic beta. Basically, it's the same. It's up to you if you want to open the panels or not. Well, since I already have it open, I'm going to just work from here. So there are different types of AI image that you can generate from Illustrator. So under the type option, you will see four options, subject, scene, icon, or pattern. Obviously, if, if you choose subject, it's going to generate like an object for you. And if you choose scene, usually it's used for generating a background image. And an icon obviously is an icon and pattern is a pattern. All right, so for example, I have the subject selected. And then here you have the option to match active artboard style. Since I have nothing here, so um, it doesn't matter if you want to have it on or off. If you have an image or your artwork that you want the AI subject to be the same style, let's say, uh, you can have this option turned on. I will show you how it works later on. And then here is the prompt where you will be typing in like what you want the vector graphics to be. So yeah, that's pretty obvious. And here are some options that will be really, really useful as well. If you have a sample image, you can use a style picker to extract the style from the reference image or artwork. And here, if you don't know uh, what prompt to type in, if you click on that, you have uh, some ideas from here. So sample prompts. And this settings option is quite important as well. Uh, here, you can choose a detail of the generated image. Uh, if you move the slider to the left, it's going to show less detail on artwork. And if you move it to the right side, it's going to show more details. All right, so now that you already know a little bit about the panel, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of how it works. All right, first of all, since I already have the subject selected, let's create an object then. Um, how about a cat in a spaceship, let's say, futuristic. Okay, so as you can see, it gives you three options of uh, the generated image. And here, if you don't like any of the variations, you can always go back to the prompt and type in something else like uh, maybe funny cat, futuristic, and you can always add some descriptive uh, prompts or words. Futuristic, maybe retro. Well, is that conflicting? But let's see how it works. Yeah, anyway, so you will get something like that. I'm going to show you the different options as well. So maybe I'm going to add more details to this. I'm going to move it to four for now. And remember, when you change the settings, you need to click generate again. Okay, this one is pretty cool. I like it. Um, actually, if you don't like any of the colors, you can always uh, ungroup this object since it's a vector. You can always ungroup it and then change a part of the color that you want. So that's a cool thing about uh, yeah, generating in Illustrator. But anyways, I'm going to keep it like this for now and I'm going to show you how to generate a scene. All right, so for the scene, let's say that I want to create since the cat is already in the spaceship, I'm going to create something related to the space as well. How about a uh, futuristic Japanese temple in the space? Let's see what it shows. All right, 
I'm not sure if it's that futuristic and that's why at the beginning of the video I'm saying that sometimes you don't get what you want and uh, it's not my favorite tool to use but anyways it gives you something right we can always improve the prompt a little bit to get what we want is that better I'm not so sure well it seems really really dark to be honest so let's say that we already have these and how about I turn off the match active artboard style I think it's getting the dark color because uh, this image was like a little bit darker all right so I'm going to turn that off and generate it again see that's much better I like it a little bit more all right I'm going to delete these two and I'm going to keep this one as you can see since it's a vector if I uh, just um, make it bigger it's not going to change any resolution now I'm going to bring this cat right here alright maybe add more details to this that's great I think it's getting better alright this one I think it's pretty cool and now okay let's select the cat and let's make it the same style as this image that I just generated I mean the scene oh and remember to change the type back to subject choose a picker again and click on that and as you can see your selected style has been added to the style picker oh and change the prompt back to uh, what was it again cat in a spaceship futuristic Oh, it was funny cat, right? Okay, so now you have the subjects selected as the type, match active artboard style, the prompt is changed to the cat one, and here you have the um, style picker selected, and now click generate better. So now the generated object is a similar type as this, however, I really don't like how it looks. For now, maybe I'm going to choose this one. Okay, that's better. No, this one is better. Yeah, I know sometimes you don't get a great result. I actually prefer the cat like this one earlier. However, uh, I really do prefer this color. I mean, when you um, change the style to match with the uh, artboard, maybe it changed the design a little bit as well. But anyways, uh, just to show you how it works, you can always improve the prompt to get the result that you want so yeah you want to make this the background yeah something like that and now if you want to add more elements to your artwork you can let's try the icon one so maybe we can add okay I'm going to turn off the match active artboard style for now and I'm going to add mm, use a style picker something like that and I'm going to add some spaceship mm, I'm not sure about this I think it's not matching and this one mm, more or less not that much either how about let's say spaceship pink retro spaceship maybe it's going to be better yeah honestly I think it matched a little bit more how about this just put it right here yeah actually it's not that bad alright guys so that's pretty much how it works and you can always improve your image by adjusting the prompts and honestly if you want to create a better result or more realistic uh, AI generated image I highly recommend using Adobe Firefly and uh, I'm going to just show you a quick example here for example I'm using the text to image feature from Adobe Firefly and I type in the same prompt futuristic Japanese temple in the space and see the result that I got here I really think that it's much better I mean depending on the effect as well I mean but I really feel like it's much more realistic and it looks much cooler than what you generate uh, using Illustrator and actually if you want to use this image and vectorize it I do have a tutorial showing you how to vectorize any AI generated image in Illustrator so um, if you're interested feel free to check that out and I will have the link in the description below
You see, it's not like so easy to use, although it's an AI tool and I feel like sometimes it's even easier that you just create your own image. However, if you really know how to use the AI prompts, I'm pretty sure that it's going to work out perfectly for you. So yeah, if you like this video or if you find this video helpful, don't forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my future videos.